children? Good morning, ma'am. Today we are going to do Robinson Crusoe, so please open your books. Do you know what the word shipwreck means? Yes, Suman? A ship getting destroyed at sea. Good, that's very good. Why don't we check up Oxford Educate to see what the dictionary meaning is? When we go to the dictionary, what does it say? A ship that has been lost or destroyed at sea. Can you tell me about another character who was also shipwrecked? Janathan? Gulliver. Gulliver was also shipwrecked and it's very interesting to know. Let's go into the reference section and we'll find out who Gulliver was And here we have it, Gulliver's Travels, written by Jonathan Swift. Both were sailors, they were both survivors of a shipwreck, and both wanted to travel the world. But there's a difference. The difference is, while we have Robinson, who had a very realistic adventure, a realistic setting, Gulliver's, on the other hand, had to deal with floating islands and Lilliputians and giants, so his was more along the fantastic elements. Let's listen to an audio rendering of the first paragraph. Close your books. I need you to pay attention to the audio. Unit 3, Robinson Crusoe. We started off on our voyage in good weather, although it was very hot. After about twelve days, however, a violent tornado came from the north. The waves rose high, the skies were black, and the wind howled through the sails. Two members of the crew were washed overboard, and after a day or two the ship began to leak. We changed our course and drove out of the hurricane. But the next day a second terrible storm attacked us. We could see the shore of some unknown land, but the sea was very rough. The rain dashed down, and we were afraid to approach close to the land. Our only hope was to clamber into a small boat and try to row to the shore. Four of us managed to get the boat into the sea, and we jumped into it. We rowed with all our might, but the waves were like mountains. We struggled on, but at last a gigantic wave, greater than all the others, hurled our little boat into the air, and it sank beneath us. Did you enjoy that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you guess what the plot of the story will be? Do you think Robinson Crusoe is going to survive the shipwreck? In order to summarize this paragraph, we can now use a sticky note and put it up right out here.
This is called a topic paragraph. A topic paragraph is the paragraph that prepares and orients the reader about what the story is going to be about. It describes the voyage of Robinson Crusoe and his companions, the one that they have set out for. They have survived the first tornado, but the second one has sunk their ship. Now let's listen to the pronunciation of the difficult words in this passage. We hear the pronunciation and repeat after it. You have the list out here. First word. Voyage. That is? Voyage. Good. Next one. Violent. Violent. Next. Tornado. Tornado. Very good. Overboard. Overboard. Course. Course. Hurricane. Hurricane. Gigantic. Gigantic. Very good. Was that easy? Yes, ma'am. Having done that. Let's look at this sentence out here on page 35. The waves rose high, the skies were black, and the wind howled through the sails. Look at the word high out here. What does high describe? Janandan? The word high describes rose. Rose. So the waves rose. Rose out here becomes a verb. How high did the waves rise? An adverb. That's right. So high is an adverb. Do you remember the comparative and superlative forms of adverbs? Yes. Right? Turn to page 40 out there and we have a short exercise on adverbs. Let's go through that one. Quickly becomes? More quickly. Most quickly. Good. Fortunately? More fortunately. Most fortunately. In the second one, we have hard, which becomes? Harder. Right, Disha? Hardest. Harder and hardest. Next one is high. Vedan? Higher. High becomes higher and? Highest. Highest. Let's do an interactive exercise. Abhinav, can you please help us out with this one? We have hard, which becomes? Harder. 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 Harder turns to? Hardest. Right. Next one. Badly? Worst. To? Worst. Worst. Fast? Faster. Fastest. Carefully? That was fun and it was easy, right? We now know the comparative form and the superlative forms of the adverbs given. With that, we come to the end of today's lesson. We stop here. We continue tomorrow morning. And of course, we are going to use the Oxford Educate to make our lessons interesting and fun. fun. Oxford Educate is an exciting digital teaching aid that integrates in a single resource an ebook with interactive teaching tools and learning materials. Oxford University Press India is delighted to announce that Oxford Educate has won the prestigious India Didactics Association Award for excellence in the digital content and software and education category at the International Didact India Exhibition and Conference. The resource includes animations and video clips. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep.
But I have promises to keep, And miles to go before I sleep, And miles to go before I sleep. Audio. How large unto the tiny fly Must little things appear? A rosebud like a feather bed, Its prickle like a spear. A dewdrop like a looking glass, a hair like a golden wire, the smallest grain of mustard seed as fierce as coals of fire, a loaf of bread, a lofty hill, a wasp, a cruel leopard, and specks of salt as bright to see as lambkins to a shepherd. Slideshows. Worksheets as printable documents. And reference material. Oxford Educate also includes Interactive tools such as Zoom, Spotlight, a highlighting pen and much more. Content linked to each page for easy accessibility. Content grouping for ease of access. from teachers' manuals, resource packs, all interactivities and features found in any ebook.